Hi everybody! So this is week six of Camp Quito at Home, and our story of the week is The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. This is a story about a very brave and very clever princess. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. There they are. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Uh-oh. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horse's bones. How do you think Elizabeth's feeling there? Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. <gasps> Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. <gasps> Look at all that fire. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, <gasps> but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Oh. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic, do it again. So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Oh, he does look tired. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted it as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over to the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you're wearing dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. How would that feel if somebody said that to you? Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. And they didn't get married after all. And that's the end. Did you like that story? That was one of my favorite stories when I was a little girl. So this week we're gonna be talking about heroes and what makes a hero. We're going to be talking about empowerment and resilience, right? How we get through hard things. It was really hard when the dragon burnt up all of Elizabeth's things, but she got through it and she was brave and she went to go save Ronald. And we're going to be talking about Sadek, which is justice, and Hesed, which is loving kindness, right? Ronald was not kind to Elizabeth when she saved him. 
he insulted her and, and told her she didn't look good. And that wasn't kind. So Elizabeth decided she didn't want to marry him and she was going to find somebody who treated her kindly. So I hope you like the story and I can't wait to explore it with you this week.